In this module, we'll begin by adding detail to the drone body we've created. Let's start by modifying the topology at the bottom of the drone. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to make this a little bit thicker and I want to leave the top alone. So let's come over to a side view, just hitting the space bar to do that. And I'm just going to go into a wireframe, go to vertex, and I'm just going to drag across and I'm just going to pull everything down just a little bit. And I still want this line to be halfway. So I'm going to pull everything down and then I'm going to grab the points at the bottom and pull those down a little bit and just add a little bit of thickness uh, to it. The next thing that we want to do is we take a look at this and let's actually look at some uh, reference here. So if we come in here and take a look at this, you can see this bottom part is actually a, kind of an elongated cube shaped uh, cube shape that's kind of molded into the shape that we have here. Here's the front, so it's squared off here, and then it extends along the side, and then actually comes off the back and actually comes out further up the side of the back, so the battery can plug in there. And it's this sort of rounded rectangular shape. So right now, if we take a look at the topology underneath the model, and this is the front right here, you can see it's this pole shape. Now for us to be able to take what we've got here and pull off a rectangular shape right now with the way it is, not going to be very easy. So what we want to do is change the topology or redraw how the lines are flowing on the bottom without really changing the shape of anything else. So anytime I'm going to do this, I like to think about what is the least amount of geometry that I can work with because that's going to be easier. If I try to do this with all of this geometry in here, sometimes it's very easy for things to go awry if you're working with a lot of geometry. Because all of the sides are the same, and this is symmetrical from left to right in this case, it's going to be fine for us to delete one half of it and only build the geometry on the other half, and then we can go back and reduplicate it. So give us a good chance to see those tools as well. So let's go in and I'm going to select, here is the front of the model. And so I like to select that side over there. So I'm going to go ahead and just from the top view, come in and just select right along that center line. That's kind of like what we did with the individual points, but this time we're just doing half of the model. So it leaves us with that, okay? Because the other half is exactly the same. This will let us concentrate just on this one half. Now what we need to do is figure out how to make a square shape underneath here. Well, the first thing that I want to do is maybe take these two points and I'm just gonna so I can move them in the same spot I'm gonna use scale right now though our scale manipulator is not really set up right so I'm gonna come in here and under the axis orientation I'm just gonna set this to world okay so it's not based on the object anymore it is turned because of the rotation on the object so I'm gonna use a world axis and I'm just gonna pull those kinda out like that And so I want to kind of use this as sort of a corner of that kind of rectangular piece. Now it's not going to be rectangular here because it's curved. But then we want to draw kind of a straight line coming down and connecting up with that side. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to delete the center here. And when I drag through it, I want to make sure I'm not selecting anything up at the top, just on the bottom. I'm just going to delete that pole right there in the middle. And let's also delete this loop here. We can select the entire thing by clicking on this one. And then I'm just going to shift click on the last one. It is going to select the whole thing. If it's an ended loop like this too, you can do that and click on the next one. Shift double click on the next one and it'll do the same thing. And we can get rid of that. So now we have these lines coming across. Some of these will be able to extend across this way and some going this direction, okay? So I think I want to have at least two coming across this way. So let's move these out a little bit. Again, I'm just using scale so both of these are moving the same distance. Do the same thing here, kind of square it off a little bit. 
kind of something like that. And let's actually move this one out a little bit. Let's grab these points. And I'm going to scale these in the X to kind of line them up a little bit more. And then we can start to get an opening in topology that's kind of squared off a little bit more. Let's take these points, space them out a little bit more. We'll do the same thing with these points. It's kind of creating a little bit of space here, making sure they're all evenly spaced out. And again, I want to line everything up, so I'm just going to select across there. And let's move this whole thing out a little. I want it to be sort of as wide as possible there. This is the side. This would be the front. And this is going to be the back. So for the back, the front is getting close here. But for the back, we're going to have to continue this on. But let's go ahead and make that actual uh, geometry here. So I want to take these two corner points, actually, and move them back a bit. And then these two I want to move out. Okay, so now we can bridge some geometry across here. So we could take these two edges. And when you're in a, a transform mode, like if you have the move tool selected, and the gizmo's kind of in your way, you can go back to selection just by hitting Q on your keyboard. So select both of those edges. Let's go in and do a bridge, but I don't want to do a smooth bridge. I just want to do a linear bridge. Okay. And let's see how many divisions we need to have. I'll go ahead and set it to zero, and then I'll show you another tool that we can use. So we'll go ahead and bridge that together, and you can see that creates a line going straight across. Okay. So now we can come in and figure out, all right, how many lines do we need to have here? Let's space these out again a little bit more because we want to continue these lines coming across to make it nice and clean we want quads so we have one two three four five lines right in here so let's go to our insert edge loop tool we'll select our object let's go to the options and the insert edge loop tool is the same as the multi-cut as far as adding edge loops. But in this case, we want to add multiple edge, edge loops at one time. So we can choose multiple edge loops. And let's just set this to 5. Now, if we just click on this edge going from left to right, you can see the little dotted line tells us where those edges will be added. And they're added just like that. Now, all we have to do is select those edges. Select those edges. Okay, basically everything except the two ends, and we can bridge those together. Okay, and that gives us a much better starting point, at least, for creating that squared off space on the bottom. Okay, let's go ahead in the next clip and work on the back of the drone, because the back, it needs to extend up along the side, up, up kind of right up here. And so let's work on that next.